Welcome to today's edition of the OPEX Minute, presented by EMS Consulting Group. Today, we will be talking about Theory of Constraints, a widely used operational excellence methodology. Theory of Constraints is a system-based philosophy which asserts that the constraint determines the performance of the system. It was developed by Eli Goldratt and originally popularized through the best-selling novel, The Goal. A constraint is anything that blocks us from obtaining our goal. What are some examples of constraints? They can be people or staffing, materials, information, machines, policies, measurements, or even the market for our product or service. Under theory of constraints, we take a simple approach to dealing with constraints. Number one, we identify the constraint. Number two, we decide how to exploit the constraint. Number three, we subordinate all else to this decision. Number four, we elevate the constraint. Number five, if in any step the constraint is broken or eliminated, we go back to step one. Let's take a simple example. Let's suppose we have three production processes a, B, and C. Customer demand is 300 units per day, and the units have to go through all three processes in order. Process A has a capacity of 350 units per day. Process B has a capacity of 250 units per day, and process C has a capacity of 400 units per day. Based on this, process B is the constraint. Our approach would be to increase the capacity of process B to match customer demand. If we could get B to handle 300 or more units per day, it would no longer be our constraint, since this would equal or best demand. We would then find the next constraint, which might even be the market. We would need to sell more than 300 per day. There is much more to theory of constraints than what we have discussed here in this OPEX Minute. If you have an interest in learning more about theory of constraints, visit our website at www.emsstrategies.com and contact us. We would be happy to help.